Okay, what's up everybody? We are back again for another playthrough of Deadly Premonition. Uh, and uh, I believe this is the fifth part. And last time, uh, what happened last time? Oh yeah, we're, in, we're still in the hospital. Okay, again. Sadly, still in the hospital. Ugh, boy, do I hate being in this hospital. Did I mention I hate being in the hospital? Yeah. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I hope that I get out of here soon. Because I don't like it. Check out this computer here. Oh god, what's going on here? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, first aid kit. Okay. Key to entrance. Oh, I think I know where I need to go. I think. Uh, over here. Yeah. Alright, we back in business, folks. We might get out of here. Freedom. Just let me leave. But no. Oh, he has a shotgun. It looks like. He's just acting like he doesn't hear anything. Like, turn around, you stupid idiot. Oh my god. Oh, I just got goosebumps. <laughs> well. Oh, this is just joyful. Joyful, joyful, joyful. I'm gonna have to break out the crowbar. Or steel pipe. I don't have a steel pipe, oh my god. Who should I attack first? I'll attack you. He's coming closer. They're both. These things are fast. Shoot. That's yeah, like a spark one? The hell? I don't know what. Look at all these headshots I'm getting. Okay, they just, they just keep on coming. Buddy, hey buddy, stay behind the counter. All right. There we go. Ooh, oh, shotgun shells, but I don't have a shotgun. Very useful, but. Yeah. 
Uh, I think I, I might. Yeah. I think I might escape. Hopefully. Agent Morgan, if you're so desperate, then why not smoke two at once? Grime. Faces at him, he's gonna start doing some funny business. Like. He's not even speaking. Oh, okay. Mr. Francis York, look. Haste won't lead you to what you seek. Keep your eyes focused on your footing as we speak. So says Mr. Stoop. Hmm. Nice to meet you, too. How did you know my name? Mr. Francis York Morgan, information desires you, just as you desire information, too. So says Mr. Stoop. Stop trying to get in our way. Keep this up, and even you'll have to answer to the law. Yeah. Mr. Francis York Morgan, with each rain, our town goes mad. To our disdain, unpreventable. So sad. So says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning. It's quite a point. shall depart. Mr. Francis York Morgan. Here we go. The music. Yeah. That's how he always is. Always spouting that nonsense. Don't give it any thought. It's all gibberish. Emily here. Play that music, it's just too good. Alright. <coughs> Sugar donut, a small amount of you. Satisfy your small uh, yeah. Here we go. The body again. was found in the Greenvale Forest Park. That's west from here. Too far to walk. A forest park. It's the pride of the town. It has a beautiful trail leading to a viewing site over Velvet Falls. That does sound fantastic. Show me the sights. Uh, that may have to wait. We promised to be there by 1800 to interview the first witnesses to the crime scene. My brother told me about some side quests in this game, and I need, need to figure out how to get to them. Is it key flag? 
No. Oh. There we go. Like some of these aren't unlocked or anything. Alright, um, let me see if I can head back into the hospital. Oh, I can't head back into the hospital. This heap of trash? Okay. Sure, why not? Look at this. It's like a dumpster. Agent Morgan. Dumpster on If I could just give you a friendly warning. Are you really upset about me taking over the case? <laughs> <clears throat> I have the authority approved by the FBI to assume command. I understand you don't like it, but you will follow my orders. I'm not disputing FBI authority, but this is our town. You won't get far alone, and you gain nothing by antagonizing me. It's part of my personality. <laughs> I just do things my way. I can take you off the case if you wish. Stop it, you two. We need to solve this case, not bicker among ourselves. Mm. He mad. Alright, let's do this. Time for some awful driving by yours truly. Let's see if I could get my way out of here. Oh, yeah. Anna's body was discovered by the woodsman Jim Green. I think I'm going around. So you've talked to them already? Not officially. Not yet. Are you out of your mind? You haven't interviewed them yet? Agent York, that tone is hardly appropriate. We were given orders to wait for you to arrive. Orders by who? A man called Abrams from the FBI. Robert. Your Bob Abrams. You can tell him to stay out of it. It's always tough to have a meddling boss, huh, Zach? That's what I know what that was. It looks like it, there's razors in there. If there's razors in there, that's crazy. Because the, the driving in this is very, very clunky. You would be quite surprised. I just can't believe that the children had to witness the crime scene. They may be traumatized. You'd better do this carefully. Don't tell me you get nervous talking to children, Emily. Not at all. That's, that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? Ugh, just forget it. Okay, I'm done messing around. Uh, I think I should turn over here. Like the bad driver that I am. Okay, I see I'm getting close to 14 minutes, so I'm going to stop this and uh, check into uh, part 6 for more.